Teachers of Reddit what is the juiciest gossip going on in your school right now? 5th and 6th graders have started a massive rumor that me and a male cowalker are secretly in love with each other. I'm 24, he's 56. It's now spread throughout the school and it's ridiculous. Pretty sure the only reason is because neither of us are married, so the kids assume that anytime we are talking we must be flirting with each other. It's so stupid and annoying. Student 1, that she suck his dick already at the Waffle House. Student 2, bitch not at the Waffle House. Student 1, yes bitch at the Waffle House. She let him record nut up in her mouth. She another shant student too. Man she another one swallowing up kids. Confiscated from a notebook that's been passed back and forth all semester. There's like 17 more pages. I didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Admin being spineless and not supporting a teacher wrongly accused of inappropriate conduct. Rumors flying through the school that are untrue but not doing anything to stop them. It is despicable tbh few things that happened in my old district. I'm a 1 2 1 in self contained programs my supervisor moved me to the high school because he was planning on getting rid of some staff who weren't doing their jobs properly. He needed someone up there that he could trust during this transition time. Actually he wanted me up there permanently but I refused and because finding good staff that would accept the wages they paid was so hard he had to deal with it. Anyway staff up there got wind of this whole plot and decided to start a whole plot against me. Basically by the end of my third day I was reported for putting a student in an unnecessary headlock and being overly aggressive. This could have gotten me fired and possibly involved in a lawsuit. What really happened was a very aggressive student was being dealt with in a non-confrontational way and one of the bad staff members did some shit she shouldn't have done, gotten in his face while I was talking to him. And he was restrained by me, in the way we were authorized and trained, when he attempted to full on attack her. There was a big to do. Everybody was called into the offices. The other teachers who saw it were called it. Thankfully there were cameras in the gym where it occurred. And my story could be verified as well as non-parties and teachers giving truthful accounts of the story. 2. I lived in the same apartment complex as another young teacher who was single, and we would sometimes walk in together, and I would routinely go into her room to steal food, she always had the best stuff. We would openly talk about going for runs after work, the entire school and even staff in other schools thought we were fucking. We weren't. Of course once we heard about it, we started holding hands, and playing it up to fuck with people. Truth is that she had a boyfriend at the time, and I was living with my girlfriend. I was good friends with the school resource officer, and I set him up with a teacher at our school. He knocked her up after two dates. She lost the baby, then he moved in with her, and didn't even tell her he moved in. She just thought he was spending the night all the time. She thought it was weird he never invited her over to his place. She is a hot mess express. He sabotaged the whole thing from the beginning. The lesson in this. Mind my own business, and don't set any more people up. A 13 year old girl sent a pic of her genitals to another student, and it made the rounds. A girl who was removed from her mother's custody due to drug issues has got it in her head that living with mum is best. She is coming to school claiming her grandparents are abusing her. When questioned, the abuse is things, like they sent me to my room for swearing. And she grabbed my arm. No bruise. And we fight all the time. And she screams at me. What does she say to you? That I can't go to parties. This girl is reporting her grandparents to child protection over bullshit claims that have no evidence. And she is claiming that perfectly normal parenting behaviors are abusive. Her stories change to fit whoever is questioning her. I tutor Russian guys learning English. One of them got fired from a casino for routinely flipping off the overhead monitor. It was a running joke between him and his friend who worked overhead. One day the manager was in and saw him doing his discreet double middle finger salute to the camera. We now do it as a greeting. It gets us strange looks when we flip each other off and then have a engaging conversation of mixed English and broken ass Russian. Fun times. He is also ex-Russian mafia and has totally killed people. I'm a teacher. My wife used to work as a full-time sub. She was in different classes every day. She convinced most of the kids she was twins. Like there were two of her. Then the rumor started I was married to one and dating the other. 
Lately we were talking about how one parent asked if one baby had moved to another room. He had he turned one and went to that room and when we said yes, she said oh but more time for my baby. There are two other babies in the room and we were like are you serious? These parents also bitched out my director for things that didn't happen. We called his mom in Staten Island. We called them multiple times. Etc. Etc. We didn't do either of these things. Needless to say, we are not fans of these parents. We are also talking about how this one teacher has no control over her room and it shows. And spring cleaning is coming up. All of us show up on a Saturday and deep clean rooms. And this one teacher hasn't been there to clean her room in 3 years and her assistant won't be there either. We are not mad about the assistant though. She's only been here about a month. This teacher is generally not well liked. Plus the fact that she won't be there has made us all choose not to clean her room and focus on other rooms. Rooms that don't have two people in it, etc. And a child just shit on the floor of that room. So we are definitely not about it. But she started crying cause we said we wouldn't do it, which is just so annoying god. I work at a Daker BTW. One of my old school friends is an English teacher in a middle school. A rumor started that he was having an extramarital affair with one of the other teachers who was also married and he'd gotten her pregnant and this rumor was fed back through kids to parents who had seen them both together outside of the school to governors into the head. He had in fact gotten the other teacher pregnant. He had been seen outside of school with her regularly because she's his wife. My school is a hotbed of gossip. A parent pulled this BS, these teachers aren't speaking to each other, the principal said this, etc. I'll listen to it all but never join in, and never repeat anything. I'm too anxious to say anything, so I just smile, not, and maybe add an, oh, wow, now and then. Not a teacher, but a student. There are multiple female prostitutes in my grade, HS freshman. Also, we once got police searched for drugs, and one dumbass got himself caught with vape when he left school in a lockdown to retrieve it from his car and get it. I'm not a teacher, but there's a couple pieces of juicy gossip I've heard. First is that two math teachers are lesbians and are dating each other. Another is that the yearbook slash tech teacher is cheating on his wife for a skinny white girl. Third is that her underclassman, 7th or 8th grader, is pregnant with her boyfriends, who is the same age, baby. This isn't that juicy, but it's all I know, since I have no friends. Colon open bracket. Oh boy, a girl's mom had been renting out a storage unit, and using it to have sex with her daughter's boyfriend. The girl and her BF were only together, because the mom suggested it to the boy, so he could hang around her without any questions about it. When it came out, her parents got divorced, and her dad died in a drink driving accident a month later trying to cope with it all. Really messed up. My first grader once came to school, and told me that daddy drank too much last night and mummy made him sleep in the bathtub. Another told me about the pubic hair grooming habits of her mother. I've never gotten horrible gossip from my young students, but parents be aware, your family secrets are not secrets, if your young kids know. In one school I had heard that three students, all minors, shot a sex tape and leaked it. Another group of students gang raped a special needs student at a school event. In another school I heard that two kids were called into the office and suspended because they'd shot at each other over the weekend. The saddest was two girls having a conversation about how one girl's mother had remained dating a man who'd kidnapped and raped her, the mother, at gunpoint. I didn't work in a good school. Two girls in the back of my theater classroom would not stop talking. One of them seemed upset, so I asked them to keep it down. It continued, so I told them more firmly to pay attention. The upset girl promptly freaked out, said what the fuck do you want me to do? I'm fucking pregnant. The entire class's mouth dropped, and I couldn't think of anything to do, but sent her to the trauma counselor. Sure enough, yep, one of my sophomores had a baby the April before she became a high school junior. Not a teacher, but I do volunteer for a middle school. Anyway, one of the students, a 6th grader, had sent a video of herself nude to a boy she liked. The boy had brought his phone to school the next day and showed everybody he talked to. He also had sent it to a group chat that had his whole class. The police had to come to the school to investigate. 
the girl was taken out of school by her parents, and the boy was expelled. I teach kindergarten and they really do share everything that goes on at home. During our morning meeting one boy shared that his uncle was arrested over the weekend and would be in jail for a long time. I was curious, so I asked what happened, and he happily told me that his uncle was making lots of fake money. Another time a student ran up to me and was so excited, and the conversation went like this. Boy, milliseconds. V. My dad is so awesome. He's so talented. Me. Oh wow, that's great. What is his talent? Boy, well he can chug a whole bottle of beer without stopping. Sometimes he drinks all six beers at night. Me. Wow, that's awesome. I'm proud of him. One of my male students left his phone unattended and unlocked around his girlfriend and she picked it up and started searching through it. What she found was his very male best friend sexting and sending him nudes and talking about how much he loved him and the BF was texting back and being equally enthusiastic about being in love with him and the two of them being together out in the open once they finished school and were in university. She proceeded to screenshot and send all those texts sexts and nudes to her boyfriend's parents before replacing his phone so he wouldn't know bf's parents were very conservative this kid went home to be blindsided thanks to her and apparently he had to basically flee the house because he was afraid of his father getting physical with him to follow up her boyfriend's best friend slash boyfriend came to school the next day and lost his shit on her she called him disgusting and some other homophobic shit and he got three or four good punches in before he was restrained screaming his head off the whole time story of a friend who is also a teacher i don't hold a candle to this one students were passing notes in class this is eighth grade us after about a month they become comfortable, and it started to interfere with class, so it got to point where he confiscated it. The students panicked, and really panicked, said they apologize and told him to just throw it away. He said he'll decide later and kept it. He did read it, and a group about 8 students, half boys and half girls, would rotate sexual partners for only anal sex, because they wanted to keep their virginity. This is their idea. He ended up having a conference with the parents one on one, and it was a rough rest of the year. Not juicy, just silly. Good kid stayed after class to show me his anim drawings, haha, ha, and started rambling about his family dynamics. He told me that his parents are still very much in love and are often go on dates. Sweet. Then he told me that there's a rule in the house that if the master bedroom door is closed you are to stay far away and never interrupt. Sometimes they'll be in there for hours. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. By the change in expression on his face I could tell he just figured it out. Student A was talking to student B about a sex snapchat she received. They both start giggling and talking about the person who sent the sext. It was the newly appointed assistant principal of the high school. Before taking the new position of app, he was the girls volleyball coach, boys baseball coach, and the advisor slash counselor for the address youth at the high school. Also turns out he was selling weed to the baseball team. Oh, and he had sexual relations with student A when she was 16 years old. I made a CPS report and told the principal. He was fired immediately and student A ended up cooperating with police and pressing charges. Not sure what happened with the court case. I taught third grade and had to take a mix of students with me to dismissal. A former student, let's call him B, was standing near me at dismissal. As his vehicle approaches, one of my current students, let's call him J, waves at the woman driving. I'll let B in the car and go back to my post. J tells me B's mom is really nice and I ask if they are neighbors or if he plays with B after school. He shakes his head and says, my dad and his mom are friends. They're going to have a baby. I stand there confused, knowing that Jay's parents are married and had just met with me for a conference. He continues, well, we think they are having a baby, but my mom says the lady has a lot of friends, and it might be ease, a student from another class, that, I hope it's ours. I want a sister. One principal told me that she was dosed LSD by a student, putting one or two hits in her coffee, and just went about her day as normal, attended meetings, etc. She was familiar with the experience, and didn't need to go home. 
she waited for another day to discipline him and let him know the legal implications of what he had done and how serious the police would find it if she reported. My mom is a teacher. She said her students complained how the math teacher passed gas in front of them. The students laughed which infuriated the teacher and she told them if nobody would take responsibility for it, she would keep the class after school because it was not her that farted. None of the students took responsibility for the loud noisy smell, so the students missed their buses that day. I posted this before, but it fits better here. I was in the back of the room looking for something in a cabinet. Two girls were having a conversation, oblivious I was there. Girl 1, so they, like have sex at a party? Girl 2, all the time. It's called swinging. They think I don't know, but I found stuff on my dad's computer. Girl 1, that's so weird. Girl 2, right? I have to go spend next weekend at my grandma's, because there's going to be a party at my house. 